There comes a point in every hobbyist's life where they have to answer the dreaded question. So, what's up with the horses? During which your mind will race, and you'll blurt out an eloquent answer, such as... It's my thing. It's my weird thing. So to help ease that anxiety a bit, today we're going to touch on the wonderful world of explaining the model horse hobby to non-hobbyists. It's like model trains, but horses. It's like dollhouses, but horses. It's skill modeling, except just horses. I mean, if you want to be real, there's no exact point to them. They're just pretty. Well then tell me that when you stop buying loads of makeup you don't wear. At least I'm not spending my money on drugs. Smoke weed every day. They're not toys. Ages eight and up, dude. If one is extremely limited or well done, people will literally pay thousands of dollars for it. Oh, so you don't believe me, huh? You owe me 20 bucks. So some people repaint and resculpt them into totally new positions and like it's truly an art form. And you can actually do things with them besides just letting them sit there on a shelf. So there are these model horse shows. <sighs> Crap. No, you don't gallop them across the table. So there's two main divisions. There's halter and there's performance. The halter is when you just place the horse on the table and it's judged on its breed and its confirmation. And performance is when you tack it up and you put it in a little scene that's reminiscent of a real life thing a horse would do. And if you want really good tack for performance, it's literally gonna cost you like $500 for a really nicely done top quality set. Yeah, I know your real horse's saddle costs less than half of that, but how about you try making one of those suckers that's the size of your palm and get back to me? on that. No, there's no halters or mini handlers in the halter class. It's it's just it's just the horse. Okay, they're not they're not all the same. They're all hand painted. Sometimes they can get scratched in the box. It's not all the same horse being judged at the same time. It's kind of like an art show, I guess. So you don't win money, but you can win other models that are worth lots of money. And then we basically try to win colorful index cards that allow us to travel hundreds of miles to the national championship show so we can try to beat other people's really nice horses. And don't even get me started on Briarfest. It's this weekend in Kentucky where thousands of people all come to this place to buy and sell and trade model horses. Oh my god, there's this hotel, it's called the Clarion. Everyone opens up their rooms and they sell horses out of the hotel rooms and the hallways are just crammed with people and you just, you have to see it to believe it. It's crazy. Okay, yeah, I've sufficiently freaked you out, haven't I? Just cool. Next time, just just don't ask. It's okay, dude. He didn't mean it, I swear. It's okay.